Hi and welcome. In this video we'll be making a parkour slide for our character so you can slide underneath objects. So first we're going to import our sliding animation. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can download it. So we just close Unreal and then import the sliding down animation. We want to select its skeleton and you want to select the U4 mannequin and click import and this will import our sliding animation to its skeleton. And then if we just double click and open it up. On the left hand panel we want to scroll down and just click the enable root motion box and then just close this. And then right click on it and create and create an animation montage. So we're going to be playing the animation through an animation montage. And then there's one more step. We need to go to the third person characters animation blueprint. And then go to default animation graph. And then before we reach the output post, we need to write and look for default slot. This will allow us to reference and play the animation montage that we just created. So if we just close this, we're now going to set up the sliding in our character. So if we go to our third person character. And in the event graph, we just want to scroll down and in some free space. When he presses the Z key, I'm going to make him slide. But before he can slide, I need to make sure a few things are met. So I'm going to drag a branch. I'm going to make it so my character can only slide if he's running and he's not in the air. So if we drag in our character movement, we want to get his velocity. So look for get velocity and then scroll down and select it. And then from here, we want to look for vector length. And then if this value is greater than, so of this, look for greater than. If it's greater than 80, it means our character must be running. And I will also have another condition that my character's not in the air for him to slide. So if we look for and, and my character is not falling, so if grab character movement and look for is falling and look for not. So my character has to now be moving at a speed which is greater than 80 and not be falling in the air. And we're gonna allow him to slide. So we just plug that into the branch. After this, we want to look for do once because I only want him to slide and then want to reset it so he can slide again. So after the two months, we want to drag his capsule component and we want to set his capsule half height and just plug this in. And I'm going to set his capsule half height to 48. We're doing this so that he'll be able to slide underneath objects. And then we want to drag in his mesh because when we mess, up, mess with the capsule collision, his mesh will be out of place. So we need to set its world location and just plug this in. So we just need to get actor world location and we just need to add vector. So if you look for vector plus vector and we just need to add him 50 in the Z axis so it looks like he's still on the ground when he slides. And then after this, we can play the animation montage that we just created. So if we just select it and then select the slide montage that we made. And then after this, I'm gonna have a delay so we look for delay, and I'm going to have a delay of one second, and then we're going to make it so the capsule collision goes back to its normal size. So if we drag in our capsule component and look for set capsule half height, and then just plug this in. And then his default half height is 96, so just put it back to the 96 value. And we need to make sure his mesh is in the right location again. So if we look for set world location, and just plug this in. And then off of mesh, we want to get world location. And then we, this time we're going to minus vector. So we look for minus vector and minus 50. So now my character will be in the correct position when he's standing up again. So we just plug this in. And then we can just plug this in to the reset. So my character will be able to slide again once he's finished his first slide. So there's one more thing. I'm going to go and compile this and go to my viewport and go to the capsule collision and we want to look for hidden in game and just leave this unchecked so we can see the effect of the capsule collision changing. So next I'm going to make an object for my character to slide underneath so we just drag in a simple cube and I'm just going to place it there and just expand it so it's a bit longer and my character is going to slide underneath this I'm going to see so I'm just going to give it thinner and click play. So now we can see if I run up to it I can't go through it but if I slide I'll be able to slide underneath it so if I press C I can slide underneath it and now we've set up our sliding system. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.